Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is uh, video number 14 or tutorial number 14, if you will, in a series that I'm doing on creating a simple CRUD style app or database in Microsoft Access. And if you're not, uh, if you don't know what CRUD stands for, it's just create, um, it's a, or I should say, uh, let me back up, I should say it's an acronym, it's C-R-U-D create, read, update, and destroy. So, so far in this series, we've uh, walked through CRU. We've uh, got a new customer form here that allows us to create, actually, let me close that. Uh, let's go from our main form here we've created, and we go to add new. This allows us to create a record. Um, then if we go to view all, this allows us to read the current data and then we can actually, or we're actually going to work on the update portion of that um, CRUD acronym in this video. So in the last few videos, we've been working on this all customers form, and we've got it where we want it, um, aesthetically and functionally. So we've got it just with four fields here, and we have many more fields. If we go to our customers table, the raw table, you can see we have way more fields than just four. But the point of this is to have a form where you can get a high level view of your current data. And if you wanted to go and view more detail, I've created this detail button on the right hand side for each row. And right now that doesn't do anything. And that's what we're going to work on in this video. It'll bring up uh, a form just like this new customer form, but it'll, it will pre-populate all the fields with the current data. And then you can make changes if you need to make edits change, uh, you know, maybe you got somebody's first name wrong, or maybe somebody's updating their email address, that that kind of thing. You can go in, you can update that record in your database from this form, or actually from the detail form. And then in a future video, we just need to work on creating the ability to delete a record. And we'll do that, um, not in this video, but in a future video, probably the next video. So without further ado, let's get started and work on this detail button. So we can go into uh, further detail on our records. So the first thing we need to do is go up here to the uh, home tab, to the views group, and then uh, click on design view. So within in design view, just make sure your detail button is clicked and uh, that's selected and uh, it should uh, have a orange outline once it's selected. So let's go over here to the property sheet once it's selected. If your property sheet is not showing up when it's selected, just make sure you go to your design tab and over in the tools section, make sure you click on property sheet and make sure it's activated. So that's how you toggle that on and off. So in the event tab, we're gonna go to on click and we're gonna go over to here to the right and click until we, um, these two buttons um, show up and then we're gonna click on the button with the triple dots. And it'll open up our choose builder window. We're gonna go with macro builder. So don't change anything, just click okay. And then we come in here into the macro builder. So if you've been following along in the previous videos, you've probably seen this before. So what we're gonna do is our action is gonna be open form. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start typing OP and then open form should show up. Alternatively, you can find it in this drop down, but uh, it went ahead and uh, let me let me X that again. I should have shown you that first. So alternatively, you can check and find what you need, any of these actions in this drop down. But the easiest thing to do is if, if you know what you want to do, we want to use the open form action. I'll just start typing open and uh, click tab and it brings up all these fields for me. So the next thing I need to do is put in the form name. Again, there's a drop down and it shows you all the available forms that we've already created in this database file. So I want to use, um, I want to see customer detail and then uh, view form is already selected by default. And now I need to go in here. Um, the, the key difference on this in anything we've done before or, or versus anything we've done before uh, as an open form action is we want to have a where condition in here because we want the, uh, we want the customer detail form to open on the record that we select in the all customers form. So wherever or whatever row we click that detail button, we want the customer def detail form to open on that record. So how do we do that? Well, this is actually pretty simple. It, you know, if you've never done this before, it's gonna look a little weird. Just follow along with me and you'll get it. So what we need to do is start by typing an equals. And then what we wanna do is we want to uh, open a double quote. And in this, we're going to type uh, 
open the square bracket, and then we're going to put ID, close the square bracket, and then equals, and then close our double quotes. And so what we've done right now is saying, what we're saying is we want, we want to create a condition where the ID on the current form equals something. And now we're going to tell it what to equal, but we have to use, put it in double quotes because it's essentially a string. So that ID equals is a string. And then we want to concatenate that by pressing the ampersand and then opening another square brackets and typing ID close square brackets. So this is not a string. It's the actual value in the ID field. So I know that might sound a little convoluted, but just kind of walk through that. And if you need to kind of rewind and go back to kind of listen to that, I, I hope I explained it well enough, but this is what you need to do in the where condition in order for the customer detail form, which is denoted here to open on the ID from the row that you click the detail button, which is what we're in. We're in that click on click action for that detail button. So let's uh, save that. Let's close. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this um, file again, make sure it saved all the changes. And then I'm going to go to form view. Okay. So now when I go down here to like say this row worth 4,003 or 4,033, sorry, click on detail. It's going to bring up the customer detail form for me. And notice here that it shows me it's ID 4,033. And then all that data pre-populates. So maybe somebody misspelled that, Abley, and we want to go back and edit that to be Abby. If we click on save, now we close it, go back here, it changed our, um, or it saved our changes. Now it's uh, spelled Abby. One other thing I want to do is in this, notice when I clicked save that it just clears out the form and it allows you to um, you could basically enter a new order from here. I really don't want to allow that. I want to kind of control that and delegate that to the new customer form alone. I don't want a bunch of uh, the same options in both of these forms. So the way that I can do that is I can go in and code this to where when you save or click on save, it actually closes this or closes this form and goes back to the all customers form. So let me do that real quick. Um, actually, I need to go back into this form, stay right there, and then go to the design view. And so now here I want to click on save, the save button, and make sure that's selected. And in my property sheet, on click, I want to go ahead and open that with the triple dot again, and I want to add to this. So we've actually done this before if you've been following along, so this should be review. So I'm going to add a new action. And so I'm going to start typing. Remember, it's close window. So if I get to close W, it'll bring up close window. I'll hit tab or press tab. And then the option or the object type, sorry, is form. Hit tab again. Object name is customer detail. That's what that's the form that we currently have open. So I want it to close when we click on save. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to close and I'm going to go back to form view. And so I can let me go ahead and edit something in here and click save. And I didn't say my changes, but it will close. You can see that it closed. So now it made the change. Let's go back and just really quick, make sure double check, put that new, you know, new spelling in there, click save. And then it goes back to the form for me, to the all customers form. So cool. That's what we want. Um, so now we've got our uh, update part of the CRUD acronym covered. Uh, the next thing we need to do is create the delete functionality and we'll do that in the next video. So if you're following along or if you've been following along and you're staying up and you're, um, or you're keeping up and your form's doing everything that my form is doing, good job, pat yourself on the back and I will see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.